previously on Quest Out West. I am currently living in a broken van. I just bought this van for a thousand bucks. Something was telling me to list the Sprinter. I had like almost 50 offers. That means that I can sell it and use some of that money to fix the brakes on the Dodge Grand Caravan and we can get out of here. This is looking pretty full already. I ordered something off Amazon, pretty important. It's the remote for the Bose, so I can sell it now. Does that tire not look flat to you? Looks like we have a flat, which may be a good thing because maybe that is why the TPMS light is on. Looks good now. I know that technically this part and this part and this part and this part is supposed to be white, but uh, since I was running low on paint, I didn't focus on that part and we're going to make it black instead. And if I decide to change it later, so be it. But for now, that's what we're doing. is exploring we haven't fully moved in yet we're still in there but she wanted to come outside and I'm like why don't you just try in here instead and she's having a lot of fun apparently you like it you like it baby As I'm admiring my work, I realize I need to do these, and I forgot. Good job. coming? You want to come back in the sprinter? Spot. You want to come back? Baby? You want to come back home, baby? I let the cats in the caravan to poke around and kind of get used to it. Um, and the other two are back in there, but Spot is perfectly happy being in this one forever. You want to stay in here? I'm not going to leave you here. Okay, you get another 10 minutes, okay? <laughs> Only in Canada. I got something in the mail and I'm excited. Something that's kind of messed up is the fact that I got this package basically half open on on both sides. Like this thing is barely holding together. This is a cargo bag. This bag is supposed to hold a ton of stuff. Oh. I don't know if 
I'm, I honestly have no idea which direction this is supposed to go. I'm hoping it'll make sense. I believe I have it on correctly. It's packed with everything that I could think to put in there, and I still have room in there. From what it was before, maybe you can't tell, but it is not bad compared to what it was before, especially considering I actually got everything that was still in there, in there, actually that's not true, it's not everything, I still have some clothes and my guitar. I'm pretty sure that by the time I'm done packing, that bag will be absolutely stuffed. I sold the bows. I did not film it because it was a whole fiasco where I went to meet the guy, then realized I had left the sound bar in the Dodge Grand Caravan. And so I had to go back and get it, couldn't find it. I was like super stressed out, go back. He sends me the payment and his payment wasn't going through. He was just about to give up to leave because he had to be somewhere and we just kept waiting for his payment to show up so that I I could access the money and, and make sure that I didn't get ripped off. And while we're waiting, at some point I just decided to let go. And I, I know this will be weird to some people, but I don't care. I asked my angels for help. I said, please just take care of this. I'm releasing it to you and I'm trusting that it will be okay. And just as I did that, he said that he was going to just call it a day and go and give up and cancel the payment and maybe we would try, we would try again another day. But I felt very strongly in that moment that I should just let him take it and trust that he would pay me. And so that's what I did. I told him to take it and that I trusted him and that he would pay me and he walked away. And as soon as I walked away, I felt chill. So I knew that I made the right decision in that. And within an hour from that moment, I got the payment and it all worked out. I don't recommend people giving their stuff away to people and being like, you, you can pay me, right? I trust you. <laughs> but in that moment, I, I knew that it was the right thing to do, so that's what I did. I sold the van. I sold the van on the day of the lunar eclipse. Obviously, I still have the van because I didn't process the sale yet, but I did get a deposit for it. I can't process the sale until I get certain papers that I'm waiting for in the mail from the Quebec version of the DMV. So as soon as my mail comes, I can process the sale, we move into the caravan, and we're out of here. Trying to start the Sprinter, it did not start. I cannot drive on these roads. I'm only a few minutes away from the Sprinter and I'm sliding. The roads are so bad that I could not drive up the road. I got stuck in the middle of the highway and I reversed onto this little alley lane thingy and I got stuck again in the ice. They may or may not have allegedly driven the car the wrong direction on the highway. 